So the first question reads as consider the language L given by the regular expression a plus b star into uh, followed by b and followed by a plus b over the alphabet a comma b. The smallest number of states needed in the deterministic finite automata accepting L is. So the language or the regular expression that we are provided with is a plus b star followed by a b and followed by a plus b. So if, if I draw an NFA for it in it before drawing a deterministic finite automata, I'll start with an initial state. To show this part, I'll make a loop followed by a single B that is denoted here. Then the second state which is Q1 followed by the last bracket. This denoting the last state and the final state. Alright, so this is an NFA. Now if I have to convert it into a DFA, I have to draw a table in which I write down the state and the transitions for A and B. Alright, so starting with the state Q0, I see on A we transfer or we uh, go to Q0 only and in case of Q0 and reading B I go to Q0 and Q1. So the state is Q0, Q1. Now writing this Q0, this is the initial state Q0, Q1. Now from Q0, Q1 reading A, I will go to Q0 and Q2 and Q0, Q1 reading B, I will go to Q0, Q1 and Q2. Now reading from state Q0, Q2. Since Q2 is the final state here, Q0, Q2 will become a final state. Now from Q0, Q2 reading A, I will only go to Q0 and reading B. I'll only go to Q0, Q1. Alright, so uh, coming to the next state, Q0, Q1, Q2, reading A, I would go to Q0, Q2, and reading B, I would go to Q0, Q1, Q2. So these are, this will also be a final state. These are the four state that would be possible in my deterministic finite automata and the answer for this would be 4. You don't need to draw and see the deterministic finite automata. This is a quick way of getting con uh, converting from the NFA and uh, seeing from the table how many states will be possible. So two non-final states, two final states and a total of four final states, four total states in the DFA. Now coming to the second question. We are given a grammar with the productions where S is the start symbol. Then we have to find out which of the following strings is not generated by G. Okay, so uh, the, if we start with this string A, B, A, B and I start drawing its tree, syntax tree or a normal tree for generating this string. I start from the start symbol S. I go to S, S. Then if I replace it with A, S, B and again here A, S, B and if I replace this with epsilon and this with epsilon so I get A, B, A, B. Alright, so this is possible. Now coming to the second part, S. From S I go to S, A, S. Then from S I expand to S, A, S, A and here A, S, B. Here I replace with epsilon, here I replace with epsilon. So yes, sorry, not this. Here I replace with epsilon. So I am getting A, A, A and B. So this string is also possible. Now coming to the third part. If I make here S from S if I derive S and S from S S A S then from the second S if I derive B S A from this S again I derive B S A and I replace this S with epsilon, this S with epsilon and this S with epsilon. So what am I getting? 
ए बी बी ए एंड ए ऑल राइट सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर फॉर दिस बिकॉज इवन इफ यू ट्राई टू मेक दिस दिस वॉन्ट बी पॉसिबल बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी हेयर एवरी टाइम अ बी इज प्रेजेंट इट विल बी फॉलोड बाय एन ए ऑल राइट और द नंबर ऑफ बी वुड हैव टू बी इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ ए एट लीस्ट सो दिस बी कैन बी पेयर विद दिस ए बट देर इज नो ए कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस मिड बी All right. So you can also guess it from this option, but uh, drawing the trees for deriving these strings quickly and uh, making sure of what you are guessing is right or not is a better way. So that is how we uh, computed which of the string is possible and which is. So the first question states: Consider the context-free grammar over the alphabet given below. S and T are non-terminals, and you are given. two context free grammars g1 and g2 the language l of g1 intersection l of g2 is now you have to find out the languages that are generated by these two grammars and then find their intersection and tell whether the result the resulting language would be context free regular recursive or finite and or other some combination of these all right so first thing that we have to do here is find out the language that will be generated to so starting with the first grammar that is given see if you observe here where s is the starting symbol the type of strings that would be generated by this grammar would be if l1 is the grammar first of all this grammar would generate lambda now how lambda or epsilon or a null string would be generated it would be generated by starting with the start symbol going to t and from t replacing t with epsilon or lambda so start with s go to t use this production from t use the second production t goes to lambda so lambda would be one of the strings present in language l1 which is generated by g1 now what is the second kind of strings that can be generated by this grammar the second kind of strings can be c plus now how would they be generated you have to think what all combination of productions you can apply so that you produce a complete grammar that is generated by g1 so how would these be generated if i start with s again and use the production s goes to t the second production here s goes to t and now instead of replacing t with lambda or epsilon i replace it with ct so i replace it with ct and if i want to terminate this string generation i would replace t by lambda again so i would get a single c which is single occurrence of c or i can replace this t with another ct because there is no other option except for replacing t with epsilon or replacing t with a lambda or a ct so if i replace it with a lambda i would generate a c if i replace it with the first production here ct i would generate c c and t and so on if i want to terminate it somewhere i would generate some number of c and to terminate i would have to replace t with a lambda and therefore the resulting string would be c plus why c plus and not c star because using this kind of productions s goes to t and t replacing ct t being replaced by ct we would at least have one c because if after s goes to t i replace t by lambda i would get an empty string which i have already written here all right so c star that means if i write c star that is equal to lambda plus c plus this string all the language generated by this so i have accommodated lambda here the set of productions using the the sequence of productions that i have written here will produce c plus that means a single or more than one occurrence of c now what are other type of strings that are possible from g1 the language generated by g1 can also generate a n b n
Now how will these be generated? Starting from S again, I now use the first production ASB. When I use ASB, I can replace this S with ASB again. So it would be A, that was the earlier A, replacing S by ASB again and the old B, this one. Alright, so what do I get? I get double A, S and double B. So you should notice here that always whenever an S is replaced by another ASB, a pair A and B would be a new pair would be included in the previous A's and B. Alright, so this string would always go like some number of A's followed by S followed by an equal number of B's and to terminate if you only want A and B and you don't want C you would use a lambda and this would terminate into A and B N. Alright because every S introduces an equal number of A's and B's. Now the last category of strings that can be generated by G1 would be A N C C C plus, this is not a star, this is a plus in, and followed by B N. Now how would these be generated? If I replace this S with a T and that T with a C T, then in that case I would get these string. Now how will that be done? Let me explain it to you here. See, if I have S, the this one I replace it with ASB again I replace this S with ASB and now I replace this S with T because I have to introduce a C here all right and this T is replaced by CT followed by double B and this can continue the more I replace T with the CT the more C I will introduce into this production set so this would become a n some number of c now also here also a single c or followed by more than one c and then followed by equal number of n when c is not present that would be the case a n b n all right so the final language or if i have to write it in a single statement l1 would look like a n c star b n such that n is greater than equal to 0. Now if you pay little attention to these four expressions that I have written, it would, this expression is a combination of all these. So how is this coming? A n c star b n. If I combine the last two, then I would get a n c star b n and if n is equal to 0, so A, number of A and number of B would become equal to 0. Only C would be left. And if in that case I make the number of C equal to 0 or the occurrences of C are 0, only lambda would be left. So you have to think a little but you have to be quick in generating the language because you have to solve the further question also. Similarly, you have to generate the language from G2. Now G2 is also using a similar set of production. The only difference is ASB is replaced by BSA. So the language that you would be getting from G2 is almost same. The order is different in terms of A and B. So the language L2 would be B raised to power N C star A raised to power N such that N is greater than equal to 0. Now, if you take the intersection of L1 and L2, L1, G, L or L generated by G1, intersection, the language generated by G2, you have to take the intersection of these two languages. Now, if you note very carefully, there would not be a common string that is starting at A and ending at B and the set of strings that starts at B and ends at A. Alright, there would be a separate set starting with A ending at B and a separate set starting with B ending at A. So the only common thing between these two languages is the case when N becomes 0. When N 
in both these languages become zero the number of a's and b's become zero and the only thing left is c star all right and c star as you can see this is a regular language why is it regular because you can generate a dfa to express this language or you can write a regular expression for this language this is already a regular expression so this is a regular language and it is not finite it is infinite because you can in c star you can accommodate a lot of strings all right there are not a finite number of strings c a single occurrence of c empty string multiple occurrence of c and those multiple can have any number so the correct answer would be not finite but regular so this language the intersection of the two is regular language but it is not finite so b is the correct answer so that was today's question yes it is a little tricky you have to be careful in accommodating all the strings that are present or generated by a certain language and then you have to find out what would be their intersection and what kind of language it would generate i hope you understood the question please mention in the comment section below how did you find the video subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes for more lectures on our preparation series for gate ugc net and bank it officer examinations press the bell icon to get the notifications of our more upcoming videos thank you for watching like and share the video with your friends good luck